Hey everybody, welcome back to Project Spatial. I am Katie Scheuer and I am here to increase your spatial impact. And I'm so glad that you guys are here with me today. I really wanted to share this part of my journey with you so you guys can kind of and maybe have a little hope, maybe think about your career in a different perspective and just kind of understand where I ended up, where I ended up. <laughs> um, so what I'm talking about is there was a portion after I had been working for a county for quite a while, I was their first GIS person and I came in and built their GIS system and I absolutely loved that position. I. I really, really loved the people I worked for. I loved the work that I was doing, but I just wanted more. I wanted to experience more. I wanted to learn more. So I really tried to get a position with this private utility that I wanted to work for. And the first position I went to go um, apply for was actually a mapping position. And it was within their GIS department and I didn't get it. Um, they thought that I would be bored and they thought that I was overqualified. So I was persistent. I went back to the company. I applied for a different position, which was a designer position. And it had more field work. It had more customer interaction. It was a little bit more advanced, paid a little bit better. <laughs> and I was hired and I was no longer working in GIS. I was working in the utilities. I was doing design. I was figuring out what services were and all that sort of stuff and it was a total shift for me and then I had some changes in my life and I was looking for a new position in a new part of the state because I had to move and I was able to find a GIS position in utilities and the reason that I was able to get into that position the reason I was able to be so effective in that position and have the knowledge that I had was because I had left GIS for a while and I don't think that you can really do your job well and really understand what kind of information is needed, understand what data is needed, unless you really know the domain that you're working on, whether that is retail or emergency management, public works, um, utilities, you know, there's so many different things out there. And if you don't spend the time to kind of step away, step out of your GIS bubble and see what else is going on in the company, see what else is going on in your domain, you kind of lose touch on what you're really doing and why you're doing it. So I encourage you guys to think about that. If you're looking at a career change, if you're looking at something new, if you're kind of feeling stuck, maybe step out of the GIS world a little bit and find something in your domain that will give you a ton of domain knowledge. And then if you merely miss GIS or if you want to get back into it and you absolutely love it, then you can go back and you're gonna have a ton of information to pull from and experience to pull from. I will see you soon, bye.